Now, um, the Old Testament uh, culture that would have heard this first would have laughed, and uh, most of the women would be like, I can't believe she said that. Okay, what are, what are mandrakes? Or mandrakes are a plant uh, that uh, are eaten, and they have a root that, uh, that the root looks like a portion of a male anatomy. I'll just leave it at that. If you were to eat this plant, it was uh, supposed to uh, bring up sexual desires. It was supposed to act as an aphrodisiac. And basically, here he is. He has been tender with her. He has praised her. He has esteemed her. He is walking through this with her. And she's saying, hey, give me the man rakes. Let's go. What a great passage. This was written 3,000 years ago. And you notice the way in which he is treating her and she is treating him. The way in which they're meeting their needs. Let me ask you this. Guys, since you've been married, has your knowledge of your wife, has your praise of her, has your desire for and your need for her, has it deepened over time? Are you verbally generous to your wife? And telling her how much you love about her, what you love about her. Ladies, since you've been married, has your responsiveness to him, your desire for time with him deepened, or has it died? Are you visually generous for your husband? I say this at each one of the weddings that I get to do. Uh, usually when I start to, you know, do the little sermonette or whatever, I just look at the couple and I say, hey, here's the deal. Years from now, you're going to wake up in one of two ways. You're going to wake up and you're going to look over at the person next to you and you're going to go, who is this person and what have I done? Or you're going to wake up and you're going to go, man, I had no idea I could love him this much. I had no idea I would love her this much. Isn't it amazing what God has given us? But how you wake up determines on how you invest into your relationship and how you treat each other and look to serve each other and meet each other's needs. Let me close this in a word of prayer. <clears throat> Father God, I just uh, I thank you so much, Lord, uh, for this book, for the insights it gives us on our marriages and our relationships. And God, I pray that, um, Lord, as we go home, as we go to eat, that we would have uh, some great conversations with our spouse around this text. God, I pray for the marriages in this room that they would grow and strengthen and deepen and that even years from now they would look back on each other and say, you know what? I never knew I would love you this much. Thank you for the gift of our spouse that you've given us. Help us to treasure that gift. It's in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. We'll see you next week, and we're going to wrap up Song of Solomon next week. Have a great week.